This video will focus on digitizing your VHS tapes. You will need a VHS player of some sort, a PC or Mac, I'll be using a PC, and the Roxio Easy VHS to DVD, which is available at treasuredarchives.com on the links page. Be aware that this is more than a software download. You will need this little piece of hardware too that comes with your order. By the way, it's called Easy VHS to DVD, but I found a way to use it for mini DV tapes as well. Check treasuredarchives.com for a video on that process too. I'll be using my Panasonic 4-head VHS rec recorder player or VCR. Any VHS player will basically follow the same procedure, but you may need to tweak a few minor things like where your RCA plugs are located and uh, some some need tracking manually adjusted. Um, this Panasonic Omnivision model, however, does a brilliant job of um, automatic tracking. This is so very easy. Using your RCA plugs, just like you would have used if you were plugging your um, VCR into your TV, you'll plug one end of each of the red, white, and yellow into the VCR. I only have two, so I'm using my red and yellow. And the other end will plug into your Roxio Easy VHS to DVD dongle. The other end of the dongle is then um, just a standard USB, and that's how you will attach it to your PC or Mac. And I'll be using my PC with Windows 7. I've already downloaded the software that came with the dongle. Now that everything is properly plugged in, we'll turn it all on. Then open the Roxio Easy VHS to DVD software. Click on Record, Edit, and Save. Enter the name of your video. Insert the tape into the VCR and make sure that it's rewound. I know that's a foreign concept to the younger generations or uh, brings back memories for you, but make sure it's rewound. And then press Record on the software and then press play on the VCR. Let it play through. And then press stop. Click on the arrow. It defaults to DVD, allowing you to put this footage directly onto a DVD. But the other choices are computer, PSP, iPhone, different iPods, Blackberry, Archive. I always choose computer so I can edit the footage. Even if all I do is add a title with date and who's seen in the video, I'll have the option to do that and all the other choices shown plus upload it to YouTube or Dropbox or Vimeo or whatever. So we'll choose computer. Choose where to save it. I have a regular spot. And then click export. Your video will go through a simple rendering process. The longer the video, the longer this process will take. Then you'll be notified when it's done. That's it. You have now have your precious memories digitized.